this seems a bit uh, you know funny the topic i have selected today this is simply how to convert grams to mls that is or grams to milliliters as i have come across uh, this question uh, multiple times from my students they whenever i ask them how to convert grams to mil and mils or mils to grams they are giving me different i mean uh, answers so let's Learn today how to simply convert grams to mLs. I'm Professor Dr. Moin Akhtamul from Dr. Amikaz Institute of Chemistry, University of St. Jamsharo, and I'm very much here with some conversions. So today we are going to uh, start some or talk about uh, some conversions that is grams to mLs. And for that, we must know the density of the particular solvent. For that, for that, we must... No, this is number one's first step. No, the density of that particular solvent, particular solvent. Because now, whenever I ask them, they give me one, one gram equals to one ml. It's not a hard and fast rule for all the solvents. It's only for pure water uh, that has got a density of about one grams per ml. And or so if it, it, this is only for water, not for any other solvent. That means that uh, pure water, if it has got one gram pure water, I can write it for you pure water at somebody also says that about four degrees centigrade at four degrees centigrade it has got a uh, simply uh, what its density is one gram per, per m ml so in that sense five grams five grams equals to how much Five mils of H2O, right? This is for pure water. This is not for any other solvent. That is, um, it's only for if one ml is equals to one gram if it's only distal water at four degrees Celsius, right? Four degrees centigrade. This is only for this. So I, ho I hope now your concept is much more clear. But let's talk about some other solvents rather than water. So let's suppose, let's solve uh, an example, a liquid, a liquid or any solvent, X, Y, Z, has a mass equals to how much? Mass equals to 84 grams right so and its density equals to 1.55 grams what would be its volume that means mls milliliters you do need to know its volume so let's begin with mass in grams right so let's begin with mass in grams right so now um, if you have uh, it would be like that 84 or I mean 1 right into dash right now next we'll convert grams to milli milliliters right and now let's uh, by using simply what by using the density let's simply do what let's simply convert grams to mls by using the density that is this watch by using this density so let's follow this our liquid has 
density of how much 1.55 grams per ml right this is our density let me rub the board first because i think it's getting messy and the newcomers they won't be able to understand so let me rub it so the example it clearly shows that 1 ml equals to 1.55 grams per ml in the same sense 10 ml would be how much 15.5 grams per ml simple so you need to simply uh, remember and memorize this conversion and in the same sense you will be able to convert your other uh, you, this would help you out in solving other um, calculations so this means that 1 ml of that liquid has mass of about uh, this much mass right mass of about um, uh, 1.55 grams right and uh, 10 ml equals to 15.5 grams right of that same liquid that of that we have 10 ml is also we are talking about the same liquid that it would be having this much amount of mass right so here now it's this thing simply tells us it conveys us that one ml of that liquid has the mass of about right this much and uh, 10 ml also right has of the same liquid has the mass of about this much right so now as density you know is directly related with mass and volume or you simply can say that density equals to mass upon volume this is the simplest um, definition for density right density equals to mass upon uh, volume so we now focus on our conversion which is uh, simply uh, or the conversion factor so now let's focus on the conversion factor which is 1 ml equals to how much 1 point sorry 15 uh, 1.55 grams per mils one this is it right that is this one now here we have to find out which of these conversion factors will go on in that one in the formula i just read written over there I will, okay i'll just make that formula first that is so it's 1 ml equals to 1.55 uh, grams per ml. Now here we have to find out that which of these co conversion factors will go on the top, right? Will go on the top, right? And which at the bottom? Which at the bottom? Which one will go at the top and which at the bottom? Simply uh, here in this formula. And now we can see that grams are here. That is this was 84 grams so grams are on the top so we need to put the gram that is this one this uh, this number over here that means 1.55 grams over here right so that we will cancel out the grams with the grams and we'll be left with mls right um so the grams will be as the gram is on the top so we can get the mls and we must put grams on the bottom to cancel out simply right so let's do it so now this part will go this part will go over here right and the this M, mls will go at the top one ml simply so now the grams the unit grams will cancel the unit grams so i will cancel out with the other color so that would be easier for you to see how we cut the grams uh, with the grams and we'll be left with the mls over here uh now we'll be left with the simply um, the milliliters and now we'll simply do the calculation as you know the upper two uh, the upper two numbers will supposed to multiply and the lowers are supposed to divide to be divided right so the upper ones would be divided by the lower ones so let's do it 84 
I'll do it here. 84. Simply into 1, right? And equals to 84. And 1 into 1.55 equals to how much? Of course, 1.55. So now, what you are going to do? So 84 would be divided by 1.55. 84 would be divided by 1.55. And what you are going to get when you will do this calculation, it, as 1.55 is divide, being divided by this 84, you are going to get the answer 54. Point 0.1 mils or milliliters. Here you can see 54.1 milliliters. So uh, this was very simple and this is how you can convert simply grams to milliliters. But you need to know the conversion factor that one ml equals to this one. This, this even you need to always know. Right? And you must know the density of that particular solvent to do that. Now, after uh, solving this example, you can uh, your concept would be clear that now, uh, in case of water only, pure water, that is uh, pure distilled water at 4 degrees centigrade, right? It's uh, 1 ml is equals to 1 gram, right? And um, one, whereas 1 milligram of salt, sodium chloride, is not equal to 1 milligram of uh, 1 milliliter of uh, sodium chloride, right? Simply keep that thing in your mind that 1 milligram of sodium chloride is never equal to 1 milliliter of sodium chloride. So only it was for pure water. So now uh, these milligram uh, mg is simply measurement of mass and milliliters is simply a measurement of volume in our metric systems. And uh, volume, you know, volume and mass, they are not at all, uh, uh, they are equivalent, right? But, uh, or they are not at all equal, but if we are using the same thing like water, if you're using the same solvent than water, if you're only referring to water, we can do the direct conversion for water. That is one ml for water only. It would be like that for water only. It would be like simply one ml equals to one gram, which is equals to one centimeter cube right or one cubic centimeter you can also call it it's very simple the simple this is a very simple calculation right which is uh, which you might have seen or in the same sense you can say that 1000 um, milligrams is equivalent to one gram right and in the same sense you can say that 1000 simply um, Milligram equals to one ml, right? So in the same sense, now we I'm just start, uh, comparing the, this with the example for the water. If you are talking about water, because most of the students uh, till the higher level they are giving me the same sense, uh, response. And ma'am, uh, when we convert grams to mLs, that means they are equal. One, if it's 0.6 uh, grams, that means 0.6 mLs. No, it's not like that. You need to involve the density of that particular solvent. And so I am just now telling you about water. What happens when you are dealing with water only, when your solvent is water only, right? When you are, we are only using water, this, then you can uh, go on with this rule. That is uh, 1 mL equals to 1 gram, which is equal to 1 centimeter meter cube or 1000 milligrams equals to one gram or 1000 simply um, uh, simply milligram equals to one ml and sim in the same sense in the same sense 560 milligrams of water equals to 0 
emeralds and five eight eight three milligrams for one thousand equals to that is it is divided by one thousand when you not per thousand sorry and when you will divide it by one thousand when you divide it by one thousand you are going to get this answer what five point eight eight three milligrams so, I'm sorry mls so this is it when you will divide this by one thousand you're going to get this product this thing so uh this was when you are dealing with only water so simply divide uh simply density is uh, yeah, you simply when you if somebody asks you what would be the uh, how you're going to convert um, uh, grams to mls you will simply see the density of that particular solvent if you are, if you are not uh, referring to water then you will go along with my first uh, procedure which i explained to you and if it's water then you will follow these these things right this is it so now i hope your uh, concept is clear this is a very simple thing but this was a very simple conversion which i mean every student should know up to i mean starting from your bs level to masters and to mphil and phd level you must know because this is the basic conversion which you need to convert and it's uh, in the next uh, video i will explain you how to convert uh, simply uh, mls to grams right it's also very interesting and very easy to understand and you will easily learn it so this was something how you can simply convert grams to milliliters and i explained to you that the first step was just to know to calculate or to know get to know the density of the solvent or, or the liquid you are using in the density it plays a very important role in uh, doing this type of a cal conversion right so i hope you like this video and you will uh, learn from it and you will definitely apply it and you will use it for your use it with for your further calculations because you'll be needing these conversions thank you very much